maybe I really am different and maybe a lot of people that I'm surrounded by think with open minds and open hearts like I do. And I do want to say that I've been very vocal for my support for everyone besides Donald Trump. <laughs> heavily supported Bernie, heavily supported Hillary. And I still think that in her lifetime she deserves to be the first female president. <laughs> and that's what makes me so sad. Is that I just wish that she had that opportunity because she's fought for so long. I believe her when she says that she loves this country. This is all she's ever done. She's given her life to make it better. <laughs> but like Donald Trump so ironically played after his speech. It said you can't always get what you want. And happy hippies we adjust and we accept everyone who they are. And so Donald Trump I accept you. <laughs> Dad, why are you laughing? I do not know. Who's that? Oh, yeah, it's Miley Cyrus. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. And now she's crying about Hillary. Oh, Hillary deserves it. Uh, she deserves to be president. One day she'll get it. Hillary's getting no younger. I just, I just don't think it's really a, well, feasible possibility. Maybe Michelle Obama one day, maybe. But I think it's far more probable that Hillary Clinton, due to her shenanigans and her pretty much like uh, derailing of the Democratic Party, she does not deserve to be President of the United States, let alone the candidate for the Democrats in the future. She managed to fuck up the party you support, and you're crying for her. No, you should be crying for the sake of your fucking party, for the sake of the things that you hold dear, for the beliefs that you have, because Hillary Clinton fucked them. <laughs>